Welcome back guys to GTA San Andreas and yes I did uh, increase my girlfriend uh, with progress with Denise up to the maximum just uh, while I was in Los Santos just so I could get this nice blue pimp suit uh, so just for this mission because it fits perfectly and you guys will see why but uh, this mission can only be uh, triggered through 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. so or 20 o'clock and 6 o'clock if you want to put it like that as an easier way to remember it but uh, yeah, we're starting with the mission strand that has to do with the takedown of the Loco Syndicate. That's what I consider this mission strand to be, you know, the, the, at the garage here, except there's one mission that's not at the garage, but still part of the Loco Syndicate takedown mission strand, which is what I like to call it. So here we go with the first one, which is a badass name and a badass mission called Ice Cold Killer. But it's a pretty weird mission as well. You guys will see. But it's time for the takedown of the Loco Syndicate. And we got Jungle Fever from Master Sounds playing in the background. Damn, where I put it? Where the hell did I put it? Shit. Hey, Holmes, you okay? Yeah, Woozy left a message to say I gotta go get Jizzy's phone after he made the call. Then I can ambush the meat and take down those baller pushers from Los Santos. Hey, homie, you want me to roll with you? Nah, nah, this is a one-man job. I gotta stay real low-key. I was thinking about welding some shit together and making me a silence. <laughs> You're fucking crazy, Holmes. You gotta get out of this ghetto mentality. So what you think? Let me show you. Check this out, Holmes. Convenient that he just has a silencer right here. We need here, it. Here, take mine. Where'd you get that? Same place I bought my pants, Holmes. This is America. That's one of the best quotes from Caesar. Same place I buy my pants. So you got like a silencer from Walmart, yeah? <laughs> or, I don't know. Uh, go pay Jizzy a visit at the Pleasure Domes Club. So this mission is different from the actual Jizzy cutscene because when you trigger the Jizzy cutscene, you have to go to the club, but you're still on free roam. This time you start at the garage and you actually have the mission to drive all the way to Jizzy's club. So we're going to Jizzy's club for one final time. And there is something that I did want to say about that uh, cutscene. You see how Carl was uh, trying to look for that silencer in the trunk of uh, Caesar's uh, Savannah, right? That's that's supposed to that's supposed to let me talk for a second. That's supposed to basically tell us that uh, that like in the beta GTA series videos did re uh, review this that that you would able be able to store weapons in in the cars uh, in the cars of trunks. Now I don't know how useful that would be since uh, you know you uh, you can carry your weapons with you at all times. But here's what I'm guessing about how uh, that would be useful. Uh, number one, oh Bounce FM. By the way, the song that's playing on Bounce FM is actually what we're gonna hear in the cutscene. So that's the perfect song to listen to. So I guess I'll listen to it, but uh, so I'll talk a little louder and lower the radio volume so I can talk to you guys. Wait, what? No, that's the brightness. Hold on. Yeah, audio. So um, I don't know how useful that would be, but my guess would be one, if you die or get busted and lose all your weapons. Uh, and and have a car stored in a garage with a weapon in it. That's I guess that would be a saved weapon. Or my other guess would be that if you have a different weapon type, like for example, I have the uh, I have the, the silenced pistol on me right now, which replaced the uh, normal nine millimeter pistol. Um, if that was to happen, then uh, like like I would I would have the silenced pistol in the. Uh, on me, but I would have it in the normal pistol in the trunk, and if I wanted to switch over, I would just get the normal pistol and get the put the silenced pistol in the trunk. So I guess that's how that whole thing works. So yeah, I don't want to park my car here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the car to get out of here, but I know it's gonna be spawn because we got a pretty interesting mission. Uh, it, it, uh, Carl is basically saying that Woozy left him a message, but uh, there was there was no indication that Woozy left him a message. He's just saying that like that. But uh, we are starting our um, takedown of the Loco Syndicate with uh, this mission, where we gotta get uh, Jay Z's phone, basically. And uh, you'll see how this mission turns out. But basically, we go into this red marker where something confusing happens. Jizzy doesn't want to be disturbed. So one of the guards will say a quote. And then they uh, tell you to use the skylight to get in the club. So uh, there's two other quotes that he'll say, um, which is, uh, sorry man, private function. Or 
You ain't getting in. The you ain't getting in. The Jizzy doesn't want to be disturbed one makes the most sense. The fact that they say you ain't getting in makes no sense, which is which is probably why this mission uh, starts at a certain time because it's probably nighttime when Jizzy doesn't really want to be disturbed and where we can be more sneaky because this is a sneaky mission. This mission wants you to be sneaky, except you don't actually have to be sneaky. You can just speedrunners just do this mission with speed anyway and not fail. So. Like, uh, the, when the game's telling you to be sneaky, that, that you really don't have to. It's just, I don't know, the game's t telling you to, like, do something different, even though you really don't have to. Now, to lose the least amount of health possible, yes, you do have to climb up this uh, scaffolding of the Gantt Bridge, which is the same scaffolding that, that I raged over the unique stunt jump, which it's good now because I figured out that I have to unlock the bridge. That way, the invisible wall will disappear, and then I can do this stunt jump. So, yeah, this place is going to be used for two things. One, if you're, if you're getting 100%, uh, then if you're not if you if you if you if you want to do everything like the unique stunt jumps in this game uh, Like everything 100% including the unique stunt jumps then you're probably gonna um, Visit this area twice basically basically but you climb up the scaffolding and to lose the least amount of health possible You do have to drop down here and you you're gonna lose health regardless But just do fall damage onto the highest point of the skylight. See I barely took any damage Carl maybe maybe grunted a little bit, but no 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 I forgot to do my trick hold on hold on Hold on, I'll be back, guys. I don't want to walk all the way down and lose health. Oh, no, I, I have to fucking jump down now. Hold on. Here's... I forgot to do my trick. Here's here's what my plan was. So, I was... Uh, hold on. I want to get... Uh, I know I'm taking a, a while uh, out here, but... Uh, um, I was going to grab this Tech-9 just for more ammo. Now, and I planned to throw a satchel because I bought one satchel because for some reason the ammunition sells one satchel for $2,000, which is quite a ripoff. Like a single, it's single each time, which is a ripoff. So I spent $2,000 on one satchel at the ammunition just for this mission. Now, if I throw a satchel on here, the guards is going to start shooting me. So I got to take care of these guys now. Take their ammo real quick too, and I'll place my one satchel on Jizzy's car. But, but uh, Jizzy's uh, Jizzy's car in uh, uh, Jizzy's uh, Broadway in the Jizzy mission was uh, um, you know brownish tannish, but in this mission it looks like because he told us to dump it, keep it wherever, just keep it away from him. So he obviously doesn't have that one anymore, so he's obviously got a new uh, Broadway, which is green. Is always green in this mission, so. Um, yeah, so here's what I plan. I'm still gonna do the same thing where I don't uh, take much damage. And okay, now I, of course, I took more. So I place a satchel, and then I go up to the roof. And before getting into the club, using the skylight, uh, sky uh, light, set off the satchel. And Jesus' car is blown up, and I think that that. I don't know if that stretch got damaged, but it definitely moved from it. So I don't, I don't know about that. But uh, this mission is creative because it's like, because it's like, just, just go pay Jizzy a visit, and but instead, and but uh, this mission, this is a quick mission because there's a quick task that we have to do. But it's like, but the, they found a way to not let Carl in. So like, so like they found a way to like escape from the roof. These, these are kind of missions that I like where you get it. This is like one of the only missions in the game where they do this though, where. Where they just let you in in the uh, on from the roof, where you have to get in from the roof. That's the only way in. You can kill the guards and nothing happens. Now, they're telling you to sneak up on Jizzy and get the number, but uh, you don't actually have to do that because uh, let me turn it up because I want to hear this actually. All right, so this interior is called the Pleasure Domes, and it's only in this mission where you'll be able to um, go in the Pleasure Domes, and the Pleasure Domes in uh, in uh, the actual gameplay will play two songs, uh, Hood Took Me Under, sang by MC8 and Compton's Most Wanted from Radio Los Santos, or Ice Cube, It Was a Good Day by uh, on Radio Los Santos, but, uh, but in the cutscene it plays a different song. But it's telling you to sneak up on Jizzy, which uh, they're playing... Uh, people who do this mission for the first time are so blind to notice are too blind to roam around this entire area and notice that there's stairs here. It frustrates me. People just dump down the balcony, but I'm not going to do it if I don't want to lose health. You don't actually have to be sneaky. You can just run up to this this area normally and uh, and then the cutscene plays. So it doesn't matter what you do. You, you can jump down from the very top and still have this cutscene trigger, which is supposed to happen. We got cut cutscene with Jizzy here. Give me some room, bitch! 
It's that time of the week again. Your provider is about to make that special call. If I think for a moment that one of you hoes is hustling me. Oh yeah, that's I Can Make You Dance by Zap in the background. You better make a bigger cut this week, Jizz. We running low, honey. He's making shut the call. Up, bitch. I'm handling bitch. Don't you even raise your voice at me, no, asshole. Shut up, bitch. <gasps> I hope I don't get copyright for this cutscene. <laughs> her, her ass is in front of the guard's face, and the guard's holding on hey, to it. Hey, Jizzy, I need to holler at you. Well, talk then, friend. I mean, that's all we ever do. Jizzy doesn't want to be disturbed. Yeah, okay. We're talking right shit. now. What the hell? I'm a walking book of proverb. No, you fucked up. Damn. On, man. Hey, I get it wrong, you know? I'm imperfect, you know, like, hey, not a, not a kind man, not a wise man, you know. Not, not a smart man. Trying to confront you. Dear Lord, I tried. No, you fucked up when you trusted me, player. Come on, baby. I, 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 ass selling. Yay, push. Piece of shit trying. You only hear him say you oh, ass no. selling. What, 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 what y'all waiting on, huh? Somebody cap this nigga, man. Yeah, you notice how the people around don't do anything, and then but until now, Jizzy tells them to. So Jizzy's escaping, humping, humped him down, and hunt him down doesn't mean anything else. So it's obvious that we're killing him in this mission. Yeah, I think this is the first mission in the game where we're actually killing somebody important, I think. I'm not sure. Like, actually important, so kill all the guards. I don't even need the silenced pistol, I'm just gonna use the SMG anyway, because, uh, yeah, that was one of the, that, that, that was like one of the most badass cutscenes ever, because the way Carl pulls out the gun, yeah, that's probably my favorite cutscene with Carl. Carl's not like, like, okay, this is something that I've wanted to say in the Outrider mission, that I forgot to mention is that Carl's not as badass as as other protagonists like Tommy Versetti or Victor Vance because uh, you, you see how T-Bone just like just like, is able to just man manhandle him in that Washington so like if that was if that be, so CJ's not as like as like strong as like the other protagonists if you know what I mean now it's ironic I'm saying that because you can build muscle and become stronger if you know what I mean but uh if that was Tommy Versetti in the car, or Trevor Phillips, one of the two, uh, T-Bone, rest in peace T-Bone, that's all I have to say. But I forgot to mention in the Outrider part, but uh, but still, that, that cutscene with uh, Carl basically um, is badass. So uh, let me make a quick cut just so I don't go over 15 minutes. Hello? You guys might also notice that I, uh, I have blue hair in this mission because I was in Los Santos and like Los Santos is the only uh, place where uh, they have uh, the unique uh, the the unique haircuts like Old Reese and that guy in Playa del Seville. The other places just are just all the same all around San Andreas. So Los Santos is the place for haircuts. Now I really like this mission because I really like missions like this. Like there's one in Vice City Stories as well where you just go into a club and just raid it. That's that's the kind of mission that me and Justin Whitworth like. Trust me. I know I'm spending a lot of time talking, but uh, at, uh, once we um, leave the store, two things will happen. One, we'll never be able to enter this place again, and two, uh, uh, Jizzy doesn't actually start running until we after we go out this door now you remember I did blow up his Broadway for a very specific reason and you'll see why and I recommend blowing up the Broadway too because something funny happens here <laughs> he steals a pizza boy bike if you blow up his Broadway he kicks the guy off and uh, all right I'm getting in the fast car because there's no way I'm taking the limo now here's the thing you got to get Jizzy's phone right now if this was just a normal chasing mission like just to just to if this was just a normal chase and kill mission where you had to uh okay i'll say it i'll say it after we kill him damn killed him with a sawn off let's go yeah i knew i had to get him so he drops a micro smg and we collect his phone and this happens hey cease hey dude what's up i need you to meet me at pier 69 we gonna take down the loco, Cindy. Okay, Holmes. You need some backup? Nah, man. I got it covered. Uh, that was weird with uh, Carl's uh, phone just dropping there. So like I said, San Fierro's uh, missions are very profitable. I think Lost Ventures is more profitable because you get like 20,000 at the max. But uh, uh, And later in the game, you do get 100,000 and 50,000. Those are like the two highest. But to let, but the, the the local syndicate uh, takedown mission strand is are is the like the most profitable profitable uh, set of missions in the game because you get 
12,000, and it increases by three every time, except from except from the uh, second to last missions, from 18,000 to 25,000, because the last one, you know, 25,000, that's a lot, but... But, uh, yeah, there's two things I wanted to mention. One, I wasn't finished what I was saying. Like, if this was just, like... So you saw, you saw how I beat that mission with ease, right? See, so if, uh, if this was just a normal tasting mission, I wouldn't have blown up the Broadway. No, I probably would have, because anything makes that mission easier, right? So I probably would have blown up the Broadway, because... Uh, um, but I would have blown it up anyway, because like here's the thing: if if this was just a normal chasing mission, I would I would have been fine just uh, drive bying. I gotta go where there's no cops. I would have been ah uh, god, I gotta go where there's no cops. I, I would have been fine, just, you know, drive bying his chasing his Broadway and drive bying his car like this. I, I would have done that no problem. But the thing is, you, you're at risk of uh, blowing up uh, the car with Jizzy in it. If Jizzy gets blown up in the car, that means. You've also destroyed the phone and you've basically failed the mission. So it's not like a normal hunting down and uh, killing chasing mission. It's basically, you know, you have to get him out of the car so that, and then kill him on foot while he's on foot and then get, uh, get the car and then get the phone that way. See, the thing with drive buying a, uh, a car in this game is that you're, you're at risk of hitting the gas tanks if you like fire rapid, rapidly fire at the car. Um, you, you, you're at risk of, um, um, blow it, blowing up the car very fast. If you drive by him normally without shooting a gas tank, his car will blow on fire and he'll he'll bail out of the car. So you can do it that way, but I didn't want to take that risk. So, um, while it's much easier, like, if you blow up the, if you blow up the Broadway, um, he will just, uh, uh, he will just be on the Pizza Boy bike then. And, uh, that's, uh, Pizza Boy's rare in this game, by the way. Uh, occasionally people will be driving into Faggio. is really rare, though, like, uh, But, uh, if, he, if he's on a bike, that means it's way easier to just chase him down and knock him off. And then get, get his, kill him on foot, and then get his, uh, uh phone that way. So, yeah, I, I, uh, uh got the sawn-off shock. I killed him with the sawn-off shock one, which was pretty epic. But, yes, we killed Jizzy B, guys, the pimp. Uh, I kind of liked him, honestly. You know, um, he was... I mean, he wasn't a bad kid. He, he never done anything bad to Carl other than just, you know, like... Other than kind of setting him up an Outrider, but then again, I don't know if that was a setup or not, because they still needed assistance after that with the van, but... Uh, um, he's never done anything, like, a terrible to Carl, unlike T-Bone, who thinks it's okay to just manhandle him in that car, but... Uh, he, even even here's the thing with that T-Bone's just the muscle of the Locos or no no uh, let me say this first it, it, even if you look up uh, the, the antagonist on the GTA wiki of this game it'll tell you that um, that uh, well Tenpenny's the main one Big Smoke's secondary uh, Ryder's uh, tertiary which makes no sense he shouldn't be and Pulaski's uh, quaternary and uh, Jizzy B is uh, uh, quinary or keenary I don't know which how, how that's pronounced but uh, Jizzy's basically like the fifth antagonist in this game and I'm, I'm guessing yeah this person wants to fight me now and I'm guessing that's oh no he, she doesn't and I'm guessing that's because uh, Jizzy's you know more important in the local syndicate because he's the one that helps uh, set up the deals and you'd think Tari Mike Torino would be uh, uh, even more an, of an antagonist to Carl but he's not because god damn it I want your furnace but he's really not because we learn more about him even though he does run the organization you'd think he'd be a uh, more of an antagonist to Carl, but he's really not. I know I'm saying a lot, but I ha really had a lot to mention in this game. And one more, one more thing. Um, of course, I got a cop. But one more thing about this, uh, uh, this mission is that uh, Jizzy, you only heard Jizzy say, "Hey, I thought we was friends." And the other quote he'll say is, "You wrecking my ride. You blowing your chance to be a player. I can get you anything in this town. Anything. Hey, we can talk about this, homie. I will not forget this, Kyle Johnson. Do you hear me? Never." So that, that's all the quotes that I know Jizzy will say at, at the chase. He, he will go to like Ocean Flats and, uh, and, uh, and that uh, uh, route if, uh, if uh, you chase him for longer. But I was able to just easily knock him off the bike and just kill him like that. If you take the Broadway, it's way harder. If you, if you let him, if, he, if you chase him while he's in the Broadway, then it's much harder. But uh, uh, I'm sorry guys uh, that I've done so much talking. I promise it's over now. With that being said, in the next part, we're doing the Loco Syndicate mission over at the Esplanade North area, across from Pier 69. That's where that's where our next, uh, and that's a very famous mission here in San Fierro. And, I'm, and because of that, Justin does want to be in that part. So, yeah.
I'll see you guys for that part. So thank you so much for watching this uh, part where I did a lot of talking. I know, guys. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.